Thank you for coming to Productive Corporation's Two Minute Tech. Today we're going to take a look at deploying and configuring Kaspersky device control. We're going to talk about device control today using Kaspersky. So we want to start out in the policy section of one of the managed computer groups that we have here. So I'm going to right click on the policy for the endpoint protection and I'm going to select properties. That's going to take me to a menu where I have access to the device control section. There it is right there. So if I select it, you'll see that there's a, a device control enable, disable control, and there's three tabs in here that, that need to be configured. So <clears throat> device control must be checked in order to enable it. So let's talk about these tabs. So here's the type of devices tab. These devices are actually the types of peripherals that would normally be plugged into a computer. And you'll notice that you see pretty much everything across the board except for keyboard and mice, and that's for obvious reasons. The other thing you'll see here is another column called access, and it's basically we're defining what type of access each of these peripherals have to my computer equipment. And that, um, and that can be selected or that can be configured by right-clicking on any, any one of the peripherals and then selecting either allow block or dependent upon the bus. So if I want to lock down a printer to using only USB as an example, I could do that. So we go to the connections buses now, and this is the I.O. highways into the computer that those peripherals would plug into. Here I could allow or deny access to any one of these I.O. pathways. So by default, everything is allowed, everything's accessible. It's up to you if you want to disable any of them. But that's how you do it. You'd right click on them and you'd leave it at allow or you'd select block to change the status. Pretty simple. Um, one thing you can do, even though you would block, that's an example, I have USB blocked. So that means no USB device will ever connect to any of these computers. What I could do is I could override that and create a trusted device. A trusted device then would take um, precedence over any other device that would be plugged into USB and it would be allowed. So what I do there is I actually have to select my, the device that I'm trusting. And what I did here was I went, to, I went to the ad and I found the device by ID, but there's other options for finding your devices. And um, <clears throat> I basically did a, a search on removable drives, which I have had plugged into at one time or another. And there are my drives right there. And I selected one of them. And I said, okay, and now that device comes up here in this allow panel. So this is the only device that can use the USB port on any of those computers in that group. Once I have that done, I have pretty much locked down all IO pathways that I've chosen and only have allowed certain peripherals. I would say, okay. And in doing that, my policy now would be rolled out to the computers that are in that group. In my case, I have two computers, you might have more. And that's Device Control by Kaspersky. Thank you for coming to Productive Corporation's Two Minute Tech. If you need additional product information, configuration, or implementation services, please contact us at help at productivecorp.com, 800-726-4099. We are here to help.